Hello guys, and I am back. I just thought I would do some recording as I've as I've just felt like doing some. Uh, so yes, the, the Chinese tanks were released today. I'm on the tier two. Don't be honest, I think they're really bad, awful, shocking, terror bad. I don't know, whatever you want to call them. The accuracy on them is is just poor. Is I think this this gun's got an accuracy of 46, I think, uh, per 100 meters. So if they're a thousand, if they're 1,200 meters away from me, I'm practically screwed. Chances of me hitting them are like one in two million, probably. As we are in just a two tier two battle, I shall be using HE because the armor on this tank is only 14, is at 12. So yes, I did have some more mods installed on my other ones. I don't know if I showed you them, uh, but yeah, I don't have them. I'm gonna have to wait for them to come out again which will probably take a long time uh, because of this update so they need to get them all and stuff right then so I think this is a tad loud still so I'm just gonna put that down a few put it down to five and right, that's okay it's better um so yeah so uh I'm looking forward to the Chinese tanks. The only thing I'm not looking forward to is I think they're bringing back the Type 59 or 58. I can never remember. I think it's the Type 59. The annoying Chinese tank, which is ultra overpowered, does like 2 billion damage per game. Permission to engage. So, yeah. So, this tank isn't too bad. The damage it can do is quite good. That's if you manage to hit something. Reload time is quite good. You'll see what I mean about the accuracy of this tank in a sec. You can see now actually how bad it is. Okay, then I'm gonna die, most likely. I can't fend off all these tanks. We nailed it back! There goes one. I'm going to cover up my rear. Right then. I've got 38 HE shells. So I should do alright. I can probably... I do 60 damage if I go through with a shot, with one shell. And they don't exactly have the most health. No help whatsoever from that guy. No help whatsoever. I don't know what he's doing. He says no idea how to play this. Especially with that gun as well. There you go, one more shot and he's gone. He should just kill himself. I don't know what he's trying to do. He can't survive. There we go. That battle's over. So then I'm probably just going to be playing this tank for most of it. Uh, I'm not going to get that, no. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to put some more high explosive shells on. So, I don't know, um, I think I showed you the new tanks I've got. I got the Jag Panther actually. I eventually went through it and bought it and upgraded the crew. I'm going towards another tank, so I'm going to have to grind some money. I'm going towards two tanks now actually. I'm going for the AOL 39, V39, which, I've, which I can buy, but I don't want to buy because I'm going for the T29 instead right now. Because I can buy it soon. I shall be getting uh, that soon as well when I can. So when I get to another two, I need about four million credits before I start buying anything. Uh, about two million credits before I buy the uh, Type 15, uh, 29, no, not Type 29, whatever it's called, the T29, and then I'll need another million, maybe two. So I need 
Or, yeah, about 4 million credits before I buy two more tanks. So, yes. So, I shall be in this tank again, trying to just get towards the Chiha. If that's how you say it. I'm sorry if it's not. <sighs> right then. This is going to be an interesting one. A AP shells the whole way through this match by the looks of it. Unless I come up against the VAE type 59B. Type B, I mean. Vickers Marquee. Also. What does the VAE stand for? I don't know where they get the A from. But yeah, apparently these tanks are really bad until you get to about tier 7, I think. Or tier 6, 7. I, oh, I've seen that because of the, the guns on them and the accuracy is really bad. The guns are just copies of tanks which are already out. The IS-2 has got the, the IS gun. Uh, that's about it, really. I don't, I'm not going to go down the medium route because I don't like medium tanks. I prefer heavy tanks. Uh, as you see, all my tanks are mainly heavies. I've got a few mediums. Uh, I, don't, I usually go down for the heavy route. I don't think I've got actually any uh, high-tier uh, medium tanks. Highest so I've got I think it's a six. So unless you class that as a high tier. I don't know class a high tier is like eight, nine and ten. So yeah. I doubt I'll be able to defend this by myself, but if I can get some help. So yeah. Uh, these tanks are a bit of a disappointment I feel. I thought they were gonna add some more British tanks as well, but they haven't. Um which is I guess is kind of annoying. these shells. Don't think I can go through that armor with this gun. That turns like a, like a H35. It looks a little bit like one. There we go, so they're getting ripped apart. Ow, motherfucker. Just gonna hide behind this tank. The hell is shooting me back there? Is it one of those fucking tier 3s? Because if it is, I'm gonna get screwed over because I cannot do, do anything against them. I'm just going to go up here. Yeah, it was. There's just loads of them sitting over there. And then plop that on the map. Set up this guy with this one. While I'm shoot, while he's shooting me. I've only got that tiny little thing to shoot with this awful gun. That's fair. I haven't got any kills, but whatever. Let's go, Cap. That's the best thing for me to do. I tell it's really bad. It's really slow. Sluggish, but well, well what hey what can I do? <coughs> this tank is a is is a nice little tank, it's fairly good speed. Uh could be faster. anything could be faster really. Same faster actually, I think they should increase the speed of the T fifty and stuff like that. Because the scout tanks, they should be like just speeds for the scout tanks. But then you've got like the Panzer III, uh, a few other tanks, the BT-2, um, which are all same speed. This, the T-50 is a, is a scout which should be able to outrun anything that goes against it, most likely can. But if it comes up against like, Panzer III's and Panzer IVs, it comes with uh, Panzer III's only, it comes practically useless because the Panzer IV's got a good radio, it's got 
excellent speed and it's got better armor, it, it practically becomes pointless. And the, the Panzer III never goes as a, as a scout because of it's a medium. So, hmm. But like my things would be heard by peeps. Because I remember, I saw the uh, the T50 used to have like a 72 speed. The so Sorrent used to have something really fast. I don't know. I, n I never played it when it was when it used to be quite fast, apparently. But yeah, I just want to buy it. I did you sell my free experience? Right then, there's that one done. So, crew dismiss. Sell, sell, sell. Modules. Sell. Um, there we go. That's everything. Crew's going. There we go. It's five, six, five grand. I get from that. Tech tree. Chinese. Bye bye. There we go. Is that anything here I can mount? Is that? Oh wait, no, I don't want that tank. Where is it? There it is. Looks like an awful tank. Buy that. Right then, I need to get about one win in this, then I can probably upgrade it. Loads. Um, I might as well only load that. That's, that's probably going to be the best thing to do. I'm just going to check the gun on this before I do anything. What's the gun like? No, oh, that's quite a good gun. I probably will end up getting that and that. That'll take me to 2,000. I don't know. I don't know if I'll get both of the radios though, because that radios, these these radios don't get used as they go up. They just keep changing, everything just keeps changing by itself. Which is really irritating. So I don't really see the point of me upgrading it fully. So, how much is it for the, the type? 34. 16,000 experience. That's going to be fun. Right then, so, I did that. So, I shall change tanks, as you are probably getting bored of that. So, I shall use my KV-4, which I upgraded. Yay. I upgraded it a bit more. I've upgraded the new gun. Do you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use my Super Pershing. I need to get some credits. So... Nothing's new with this tank except for the crew's nearly 100% on one of their skills, which is good. Which is good, I guess. Oh, oh. Notorious Type 59, a tank which I hate with a passion. So yeah, the artillery's been nerfed actually. If I remember right, yeah, the girl used to be 240. The priest was like 240 as well. That's been nerfed as well. Uh, the AMX 40, yeah, that's gone down from two, 240 to 200, which is a bit of a bummer, I guess, but what else can you do? People are probably complaining that it's too strong, and it can die in one shot all tier 4 artillery from practically all the tanks that it goes against, except for the mediums, which I guess is what the mediums were mostly complaining about. There you go, take a medium, what, three shots to kill an artillery piece if it's tier 4 artillery piece? But yeah. I know it can take me two sometimes to kill a tier four. It has taken me two once because it's gone so goddamn bad. They didn't upgrade it either. I thought they were because there's loads of polls on the uh, forums saying upgrade the uh, penetration of the uh, the gun to the same as the Type 59 to 180. Because sometimes when you aim it at weak spots, the tanks it doesn't even go through. Like the KV4, its uh, turret uh, cupola uh, can't go through it. You have to aim at this little driver's seat which is impossible to hit sometimes because it's so small um, they were I thought they were going to increase the fucking hell, the horsepower to the historical which is 580 I think this is 550 um, that's another one on the pole some of them was increased armor I didn't really think that but I still put yes uh, because I, don't know, I felt like putting yes the front armour is good, but there is really good weak, uh, lo loads of weak points on the front of armour. The armour. Uh, we've got the spaced armour's thing, but if I hit just above the first panelling of spaced armour, you, you'll uh, go through. And the mantle. Mantle, what's the mantle? I can't remember what the mantle is. The gun mantle's fine. The gun gets damaged very easily in this one. Um, see if I can get this guy to help me. Oh, bollocks. Alright, 
see if I can play this Ferdinand. Two, one, then. That did not go to my plan. Why isn't there nobody here? This is so annoying. I hate it when teams do this. They just... Oh, sitting at base. What the fuck are they doing? Help, help, help. As long as I keep my front armour to them, I should be fine. Um, I know that there's a load of them in there. Somebody there. I'm just going to wait for him to poke his track around the corner and track him. Oh, shot T-32. I just want to know where that Ferdinand is. It's the only tank I'm worried about. It's annoying not having that zoom mod on. Zoom out mod, I mean. There it is. He just got hit hard. Thing is, I need the Ferdinand to try to come out that corner, and I can just track him. I don't know what that T32 is doing. He should just move back because of that. See, the thing is, that's the point. Is that what I mean? Now, Ferdinand knows what he's, that Ferdinand player knows what he's doing. He's not a stupid player. That T32 is a stupid player, though. He thinks he's invincible. I'm not going to do what you think I'm about to do. I'm just going to trick the Ferdinand into shooting me. I just poke my front armor out at a strange angle. There we go. I know your weak point. Like that went right through. Looks like that one went right through. Looks like that one went right through. That just, that just did like five, like a thousand damage to me. Someone, oh my god! This team is awful! It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Severe rage at that point. Maybe we need to learn how to play this game. I'm gonna fill up playing some artillery. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna go in my KV one and run around with a derp gun. I mean, I've been I put the derp gun on just for some fun, and it has been quite a bit of fun. If I get into a decent match, not one like this, because I can't do anything. But hey ho. Um, I can damage almost all their tanks. Well, I can damage everything, but doing a lot of damage is almost impossible. Do about 12 damage. Let's see if I managed to hit them in a point. Because I can go through like 50, 50 armor. I think it's about 90, 90 millimeter of armor at my max. So the T21 I can kill. Um, AMX, uh, AC, MLE I can kill if I get round it, which I doubt. Um, so yeah. Let's go. I never understood that tank. I don't know why anybody would want it. It's not very fast. It's got a ridiculously heavy turret. The turret's not even that good armor. I mean, yeah, it's really strange. 
I miss that tank at CT1 Heavy. It was a good tank. Fun to play. The M6 was atrocious. Hated it. I couldn't stand it. That guy's obviously just gonna go for the scout medal. Is that SU 152? Gold gun, I think people call it. It's just so powerful. There you go, there's the BDR. I can't go through any of its armor. Let's see if I can hit it though. Don't know if I did, but whatever. It's Time 58. Oh my god, that's a tier 6 Chinese. How the hell did he get there for experience? Must have. No other way. Possible for him to get to that, that level that fast, that fast. Unless he just banged it out for four hours straight. Which I wouldn't put it past certain people. I hate that tank. Surprised he didn't make a comment on that. There we go. Penetrating shell. That Shafi seems like quite a good gun on it, though. I do know that if he gets shot by that Shafi though, if that Shafi gets shot by the uh, ACM Elite, he's going to get fucked over. So will I, but he won't kill me in one. There we go. Vantage of a derp gun. Dun 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 I got one kill, I'm happy. It was ACM Elite as well, so very happy. I just damage the Panther as well. No, I didn't. Missed the Panther. I was pot shot him. I didn't think I'd hit him. Let's see if I can get a shot from this guy. I think that was a hit. Ooh. Hello, I know where you are now. Let's see if I can get a shot through. Let's go. He's just there. Just sitting on that behind that hill. Really annoying artillery sometimes. Just get to that artillery. Hmm. Come on. Stay on that course. There we go. The artillery will kill me if somebody doesn't kill it. The fire rate on the AMX 115 AM is ridiculous. Oh, I can hit that though. There you go, there goes my chance to kill it. I can still aim roughly where it is. No, missed. Anyways. I don't think I did too bad for what what tiers and what gun I had. 
Um, right then. Let's see what I get. I get some credits, which is handy. Repairs times two. Um, so yeah. I... No, oh, wow. Surprise, surprise, it lost. Um, so I'm just going to go in this again. Is I'll do one in this, and I'll do one in my Jiha, so you can see what that one's like, and then I shall be, uh, be gone, be gone, but I'll finish recording. I'm going to start putting titles on my games instead of just doing part four. I'm going to do The Rise of the Chinese, or the, um, Chinese Empire, I don't know. Um, I don't know how to put this. What's the Chinese Empire? I don't know. The Chinese Strike Back? I don't know. That'll be quite a fun one. I'm trying to think. Now let's put. Uh, um, I, I, I need to think of something clever. Hmm. Chinese. I really need to think of that. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. It's the best English I've ever heard. Is good. M4, I want to. I used to have like 300 health. I've got quite a big nerf by the looks of it. I'm gonna help this tank. If he budges over, I can probably. Oh, there we go. The infamous Type 59, overpowered as crap. I get shot by the Hummel. That tiger's got pathetic armor. Freaking artillery. No, it's the artillery just shooting me as well. Over that. Wish you could. It'd be so much easier. Come on. Watch the artillery start to pick on me again. I was wondering why our reload time had gone up. Sometimes sitting here is a good little spot to sit in. So you can usually see the artillery. 
See if you had a good enough view range on any tank, but of course I don't, because it's this tank. I think that light cord's probably a bit of a waste of money, but what can I do? Actually, no, it's not actually, it's not a waste of money. It's a, it's a good tank, and it's a fun tank to play. If you play it right. If you play it wrong, it's shocking. Because the damage on it is awful. Just play it like a... Play it like a heavy with a medium gun. That's what you got to do. A bit faster than some heavies that I have. No, it's not actually. Here it is. Black Prince is ultra slow. Hummel got a really big nerf. We nailed it back. There we go. should have actually. But yeah. Maybe really disappointment that much. Still get quite a bit of credit though. It's gone down. I used to get about thirty thousand for doing a match like that. Right then, oh well. <sighs> Disappointed. Um right then. I'll do one in this one. What kind of I got? Uh, I could feel it I could get to that. I could in in theory do that one. Do that one. Uh, and yeah. Get to a tier 6 straight off. I'm using all my free experience, but don't want to. Keep my free experience for some other time. I'm probably just going to save up till I get about one mil and buy like three tanks. Three tanks, buy like all of them, more like. Head to one mil would take me forever. But it's possible. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to be against artillery now, aren't I? Uh, bit of disappointment. So that's the next turret on that on this tank. It's just the same turret without that funny thing on it. Well, that makes sense. And a flatter viewport. It's a bit pointless, I feel. However, I will probably upgrade this to the, the best gun it has. I will be using this tank for quite a bit. I'm using it for about. 12, 13 matches, I think. And then I'll be on to the M5A1 Stuart. Let's get this show on the road. Let's see, is this tank any good? Any fast? Any good? And it's flatter at the back. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. There's this bit of road here, which I hope they had changed, but they obviously haven't. It's that bit there. If you go up it, you get stuck on it. No matter what tank you've got, even if you've got the T-50, your tank just gets stuck. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Well, you, you get off eventually. Just reverse, but... That's probably my only chance to kill it. Yet again, guess a penetrating shell, but not... The one that kills. Hope oh, the tank after this has got good accuracy because I really cannot handle bad accuracy. It just bores me because you can't hit anything when you're trying to sit there and snipe. And They're hit. It's just impossible. Looks like that one went right through. Enemy is hit. There we go, first kill ever in this tank. And you just witnessed it. Witnessed. 
not witness. This is a technique which I use quite a lot now actually, where you just poke a face over the rock. Doesn't always work though. Okay, there's a lot of tanks coming this way. This is where having like a semi-automatic gun would come in handy. They're all gonna come up there, so all you have to do is look here. As they go around that corner and stuff, you just shoot the crap out of them. Why I got shot by that did a lot of damage though. Nearly a hundred damage in that one shot. Help me. He's got a better gun than I have. And he's just sitting there like a freaking brick wall. Okay then, how am I getting shot? Okay, how's that guy doing more damage to me with a worse gun and worse turret? That's bollocks. Bollocks big time. Unless that gun that he's got is somehow better than the one that I've got damage wise. It is. Wow. That's useful. It's worse rate of fire though. I'm not going to keep it. I'm just going to experience do I have? 173. Can't buy anything. <sighs> Don't like this tank. Oh well. Didn't like the other tank actually. But got used to it. Is this tank got is this gun got better aiming? Accuracy is better, yes. Finally. Uh, quite a bit of experience need to get that. Right. Well this was me play some more one tanks with the Chinese. Still haven't thought of a good name for them. I'll possibly just put the Chinese. I don't know something. I may just keep it at the part until I think I've done it good. Um. I don't know. I'll probably put the Chinese attack or something. So yeah. So not a long episode. Episode part. Oh, I've got something saying episode. So yeah. You can see the type 2597 Chiha, or the Chiha, whatever you want to call it. And I shall be back anytime soon. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment if you have any advice. Please like and subscribe. And thank you.